You know who my dad used to always do at baseball games? You the father? Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Oh, juicy, juicy content. It's so it's juicy. So it's juicy. Ashley agrees. Uh, and today, you can follow us on Instagram. Did we just do that? Yeah. I keep forgetting. Don't do drugs, kids. I don't. I don't listen when I talk. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, great shirt. Thank you for supporting our Patreon. Follow us on our Twitter account. Today, we were watching a little lengthy video, but it's a short film. Isn't that a contradiction in terms? We're watching a rather lengthy thing, but it's a short film. A lengthy for our video. We're gonna watch a lengthy short film. But it's, it's a 14 minute- It's like Jumbo Shrimp. It doesn't make any sense. It's a 14 minute short film. It's a 14 minute short film. It technically falls under the character of short film because that is short for a film. But yes. it is a lengthy reaction video. Yes. Gotcha. But we've reacted to one other one. It was great. Loved great. it. So get yourselves, not one, two cups of chai. We're waiting. Do you have it yet? If you need to go outside and walk down the street and you need to buy right? one, go ahead, buy a couple. Here we go. Who's in this? I mean, what are we? I don't know. <laughs> That'll be fun to see. Great. Bring it on. I hope it has subs. Oh, if it doesn't have subs, yeah, we're not watching we're it. We're not watching it. She was not likable. This, this thing that you say only about tough women that don't conform to a kind of feminine आपको तकलीफ किससे ईमेल से या फीमेल से भाभी तो तकलीफ तो जबरदस्ती के चोचले से है हालांकि हमने इससे पहले कभी आपत्ति नहीं जताई और हमें तो पहले से ही मालूम था कि मैडम का जो अपॉइंटमेंट है वो सही क्यों क्यों भाई रोडवेज की भागा थोड़ी ऑफिस का टाइम बे टाइम कहाँ से समझे क्यों नहीं समझे भाई साइंस के मुताबिक आदमी और औरत की शारीरिक संरचना में फर्क है है कि नहीं फिर संरचना क्या बोल रहे हैं अरे संरचना गूगल समझे अरे भाई बातों का बाजार गर्म हुआ कि नहीं अभी आपके बिना गेट टुगेदर म Yes, sir. Yeah, he was excited. We're fine. Okay. We're fine, Bhabi. We didn't think we would come. How are you doing, Bhabi? And we're still doing it at home. If you're here, we'll tell you that you'll tell us. And Bhabi, you're doing a lot of fun. You're doing a lot of fun. Look, you're doing a lot of fun. Hey, what's going on? 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 अल्लाह भाभी ने हरकत मचाई थी नहीं उसे अभी कहाँ तुम्हारा ही बेट कर रही हूँ अब तक किल ऑल द मैन अरे नमस्ते अभी नमस्ते रजनी आज कैसे हो कैसी हो बस बढ़िया सुंदर लग रही है रजनी हाँ जो आ गया है सोट और के लड्डू भेजे क्यों नहीं मम्मी ने हाँ अरे अभी तो टाइम है भाभी चम्मच देना हाँ क्या बना दूँ भाभी? कचौड़ी काटा गुंद रहे हैं। क्या मन हो रहा है मेरा खाने का? चटपटा खाने का भी मन हो रहा होगा? What shot? Yeah, very well done. Sound as well. कभी ऐसी पढ़ रही है? ऐसा लग रहा है ना तो ये एकदम भट्टी हो गई है। एक मिनट, वो वो एक पंखा है तो ऊपर रखा हुआ। हम अभी लगा देते हैं। पर बतिया, वो कुर्सी तो ले आओ दौड़ कर। ए, जरा चीटी मत करो, मैं आंटी को जाके कह दूँगी। जाओ कह दो, मैं भी तुम्हारे पापा को बोल दूँगा। क्या कह दूँगा? कि तुम होमवर्क के बारे में वीडियो गेम खेलती हो। हाँ, वो तो तुम भी करते हो। तो वीडियो गेम मेरा है। Oh, my God. 
something's wrong with you. Be careful. Oh God. YouTube TV. Try it free. Good grammar and spelling are important. We love that. If you want to write essays that inspire. हमने तो नहीं सुना की पेचिस से दौरा पड़ता हो चप्पल पहनी हो ना जी क्या हुआ अच्छा इसे इसे दीदी हाँ ये ठीक है अरे बाबा कनेक्शन में कोई प्रॉब्लम तो नहीं अरे मैं बर्फ लाती हूँ ये बताइए इतिहास तो पढ़े ना आप पढ़े अब बताइए सम्राट अकबर की मृत्यु किस प्रकार की है लड़ाई वड़ाई से हुई होगी किस प्रकार से तो वो मृत्यु को प्राप्त हुए पेचिस के दौर की वजह से क्या बोल रहे हैं सम्राट अकबर डिसेंट्री सुनिए 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 वो पंखा नहीं चल रहा है ठीक कर देंगे आ रहे हैं सुनिए बताते हैं तो महल में मंदिर बना रखा है और वही नमाज पढ़ता है हाँ भाई जो अकबर थे वो बड़े चुप्पी में रहा ये सब एमएलए जैसा थोड़ी ना एक और तक जी नमाज पढ़ते हैं अभी बहुत देर हो गई नहीं हम जाते हैं चाय तो नहीं हम्म अब तुम अपना नंबर लगा ही लो क्यों हस्बैंड वाइफ के बीच में कुछ नया बचा नहीं दस बच्चा पता कर लो सही कह रहे हो हमें तो अभी से डर लग रहा है अब बच्चे को पालना बड़ा करना आजकल के टाइम में कितना मुश्किल होगा ना अरे कितना बड़ा इमोशनल और फाइनेंशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट है ये ये सब अंग्रेजी में सोचना ठीक लगता है लव मैरिज वाले हो ना तो अभी ठीक है चार छह साल के बाद सुना पर लगने लगेगा जब मिया बीवी दोनों बूढ़े हो जाओगे तब तब कौन सहारा होगा अच्छा क्या गारंटी क्या है कि आपके ओल्ड एज में आपका बच्चा आपके साथ रहेगा बच्चा है कि बीस डिपॉजिट अरे ये नहीं कि हस्बैंड वाइफ एक दूसरे का साथ दो और इंडिपेंडेंट भी रहो इंडिपेंडेंट रहना अच्छी बात है अपने हिसाब से जियो अपनी मर्जी से जियो बगैर बच्चों के कैसे हम एक महीने से ऑफिस भी नहीं गए और अभी कह रहे हैं कि डिलीवरी के बाद तुम रिजाइन कर दिन भर बच्चे में ही लगी रहोगी ऑफिस जाने का तो वक्त ही नहीं मिलेगा अब हमें ही देख लो ना मंजू भाभी को देख लो नौकरी तो छोड़ी ना तो जरूरी है जो हमें करना पड़ा वो ये भी करे अपनी मर्जी से नौकरी छोड़ना समझ में भी आता है पर ये कौन सी किताब में लिखा हुआ है कि या तो बच्चों को पालो या नौकरी दो दोनों एक साथ नहीं कर सकते हैं मतलब भाई डायपर बदलना है तो वो तो हम ही को करना पड़ेगा ना लोगों के हाथों से तो रिमोट छूट जाएंगे अंजू अंजू 
देख नहीं रहे हो तुम क्या बच्चे आ जा रहे हैं यहाँ पर अंदर कमरे में रखो उनको राहु यहाँ अमेरिका में क्या अंदर चलो वही मैं बोल रहा हूँ यहाँ कर रहे हैं ना डॉली 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 हाँ मम्मी थाली लग गई है भैया लोगों को खाना खिलाओ एक मिनट बहुत खेल ली हो तुरंत आओ तुम लोग हॉल में क्यों जा रहे हो तुम नहीं तो चुप करो जब अंकल लोग ऐसी बातें कर रहे होते हैं तो तुम समझ रहे हो कभी हमें देखा जाते हो पर फिर वही बात अब जाओ ध्यान से वो अमेरिका में जितने इंडियंस है ना वो सबको भगा देगा फिर भी वही बोलोगे ना तो ओबामा ने ही क्या उखाड़ लिया <laughs> और वो क्लिंटन वा की भी क्या नाम है किलारी ऐसा क्या नया कर देती है सुखल आई आई एग्री विद यू पर आई एग्री विद ट्रम्पवा एकमात्र ऐसा आदमी जो अमेरिका में जान लाएगा वापस रॉन्ग फॉर यू कौन सा देश चलाया बताइए थालियां लगा दो short film that is an oscar level short film i hope that was at least at least they tried i hope they tried to submit that oh look it up hold on my goodness that was fantastic that's one of the greatest short films i've ever seen yeah it, it, wow we usually watch the i'm we, we talk from an american's perspective so the the shorts that we usually see are 
nominated for the Oscars. So that's why we're talking about it. We know a lot of you don't care about the Oscars. That's fine. But that's where we're talking from. Right. Um, because we want people to see the quality coming out of India yes. in America. Yes. That's one of the whole goals of this entire channel. In case you can't uh, <laughs> <up> on that. <laughs> uh, but uh, this made me so upset in so many ways. Uh, <laughs> um, hold on. I, wanna s I don't know if shorts will come up. You think it will? It should on IMDb. It should be. Depending upon who's involved in it, it should be. Especially if this got any tracking outside of India Jeez. in terms of... 2017. Oh. Any news on it? Is there, Details? There should be like an awards thing, right? Yeah, there should be something. You could also just do, just do a straight search, Google search of, of, of Juice short film. Short film. Yeah. What a beautiful, beautiful short film. I have so much to say about that. Go ahead. Um, that was, that was, um, I don't see anything about Oscars, but whatever. Take note, filmmakers. That's the way you make a film of any length. 100%. You, you show and don't tell. And it, was, it was very fly on the wall, which was great. Without being cliche. Yeah. If you had been cliche at any point in this, you lose it. Yeah, every single part of it was very real. Very and real. It's, it, you could have set this in any setting. Yes. There was parts of America you could have this set in. Uh, absolutely. And it would, like, especially towards like parts of the South, you could. this could have been women and men and kids. Yeah. Uh, the only difference <sighs> in that scenario would be, because uh, a lot of this stuff is very foreign um, to, to, to me and makes me very upset. Uh, because it's completely opposite of what I believe and how I was raised yeah. as a person and how I am as a husband and like like the, the like all the stuff with the husband I just wanted them to die but uh, all the stuff with the husbands telling the wife what to do it's just aches me to my core because there's no one in this world I, I, I love more than my wife and I don't want her to do anything I will do everything for her. So I would never, especially in mixed company, ask her to do anything for me. Like, <laughs> I will, like, it just, it's just such a foreign thing to me. So uh, this made me feel, which is something you want in a short film mm -hmm. to make you feel a certain way, bring emotion out of you. And it did a phenomenal job at that. Yeah. Uh, there have been some short films I've seen, both animated and live action, that have stayed with me forever. This one will stay with me forever. And... I, there's a, I don't like the oversimplification of complex things and most things in life are complex. Mm -hmm. And one of the things about this is uh, I, part of what makes me sad about this reality that they're portraying here, because this is a, this is a reality, multicultural, multinational, all over the world, the reality of the suppression and abuse of women. Yep. At the same time, I, I think people can fall prey to the fact of uh, there, there is something to be celebrated and loved and recognized in the fact that there are many women who rightly so, their heart's desire mm -hmm. is to serve their family. It's true. To be a wife and a mom. Mm -hmm. And that it's is, their joy. That is to totally acceptable. But 100%. That is their choice and not your burden exactly. on Exactly. That, <laughs> and, and, and what I got... Yeah, I'll, I was emotional watching it. I'll get emotional talking about it. What I got from the main woman, what I got from her was it had, it had been her desire to have a happy life where she could have had both a career mm -hmm. and a family. Mm -hmm. And she chose and takes responsibility for the fact, whether it was right or wrong, she may be coming to terms with the fact that she settled on something that she shouldn't have but she made the decision that I'm going to sacrifice these things because I want to be the best wife and mom I can be. 100%. And that's why she said, is there a law that says she needs to make the decision? Because I did. Because there shouldn't be. But uh, the part that caught me, and still does, was her coming out into the room and sitting down. The statement that that makes, Let's say in that, and of itself. Say her name real quick. Uh, the actress who played her? Yeah. Uh, Shafali Shah. Uh, 
amazing. Beautiful work. I don't think we've ever beautiful, seen her beautiful, before. Beautiful, if we beautiful, have, beautiful, I'm sorry. Beautiful, beautiful but, work. <laughs> yeah, um, go ahead. So obviously the symbolism and the significance of her just simply bringing a chair into the room to sit in front of the AC and how all the men in the room recognize it. But then her looking at her husband. Yeah. And thinking, and this is for me, I can't think of anything more terrifying in my life mm -hmm. that you would go from having found the love of your life and considered her, you know, assuming it wasn't arranged. Let's just assume, because the power of this is mm -hmm. in this assumption that she was to him a queen and the love of his life and this beauty that he was so enamored with and enraptured with and wanted to be, and she loved him. And then somehow along the way, this happened. Mm -hmm. That's what I saw in that moment when she looked at him. 100%. And, and, the, and him hopefully coming to the realization of what have I done? Yeah. How have I allowed this to happen? This was incredibly powerful, tragically sad because it's true. Yeah. There are countless, countless people out there who are in marriages that they should have never been in in the first place and they're just fulfilling these stereotypes. And the reality in that situation is that, yeah, there should be a place for the men and women to go that are just for men and women. There really are distinct differences in our genders, guys. It's really okay for guys to go do something that's just for the guys and the women aren't supposed to be at that because it's just for the guys. And it's great for the women to go do their thing because it's just for the women. Mm -hmm. And there are differences in men and women that should be celebrated. You know, we can't both do the exact same things and shouldn't. We weren't designed to do that. There's a beauty about the woman that is just womanly and there's a beauty about a man that is just manly. But to see stuff like this that you know goes on, oh, where the masculinity of a man is so blown out of proportion at the expense of the beauty of a woman, it just, there's few things in this world that hurt and make us mad. I agree that there's certain things that, you know, men should be able to do certain things and a woman doesn't need to be there, blah, blah, blah. It's, the problem comes in when you, that's, you define each one as right. that's all they can do. And that's all they can do and you do it at the expense of yeah. the other. Uh, you and, abuse them. Yes, that, and, or you tell one that they can't do something if they want to. Exactly. That, 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 yeah, that that's I, where the issue comes in. And I love the fact we didn't know the story, but what did happen, I suspect from her portrayal, I suspect. Yeah, as an actor who Sharon Yeah, Adler, Shifali Shaw. Phenomenal job. Because she came in, I thought it was I thought it was a beautiful, beautiful moment. Because obviously she came in dragging the chair, just got her juice and was like, I'm gonna sit in front of the AC. This is my goddamn house. Yeah. I'm gonna sit in front of the AC. And that was what it was for a moment. And all the men got quiet and the other men that weren't there were like, um, uh, are you going to say something? And then the guy got embarrassed mm -hmm. for some God knows what reason that his wife was in the room with them. Uh, I'm hoping the embarrassment stemmed from him realizing and being ashamed of what he allowed. You're a better person than I. I just yeah. thought he was an asshole. Yeah. Um, so he was that. And then he was looking at her all mean and like, what, what, the, what are you doing? You're embarrassing me. And then she just stared at him. Yeah, I didn't see that. I saw what I would hope I would see in a human being who claims he loves his wife. No, I don't believe he does. I would, I would hope that in her, mm. you're, you're, you're a lot more um, non-cynical no. about people than I am. Well, um, and I, I am. I, I'm, I'm optimistic in the human I, character. I, I saw none of that in him. No, I, saw, I, saw, I saw a husband and wife looking at each other and what I saw in her seeing and looking at him was, um, why do you see what you've created at my expense? And the simple fact of her being in that room, hopefully, would be a place of him. I saw something in the recognition of his face of seeing what I hope he would see in that moment, and I hope any man would see in that moment, which is, what have I done to my bride? What have I done to my queen, my princess, the love of my life? And hopefully at that moment, he completely repents and their lives are completely changed. The reality of the situation that's, is, he's probably the way you perceive him. He's a guy that just is a dick it. and is angry that she came in and bothered the man. From all the stuff that I heard him talk about and all of his beliefs, I don't believe that's what would happen. Odds are, you're right, because character but doesn't I, change I, that quickly. But I do know there are people who have moments of repentance where they have a singular revelatory moment and they change their lives. I don't believe that's it. my hope but in that moment. That's, 
part of a great film <sighs> that you have questions at the end. What a great so, short film. So that, that's a phenomenal part of this is that it leaves you with questions and open for discussion about what happens. But obviously the most brilliant part was her at the end, which is a mark of her acting. She didn't have to say a word. And there's and so much she, to talk about. She said so much with just one, not staring yeah. and then just giving him the... Oh, and let's talk about the writing and directing in this regard too. The increase of pressure in the kitchen was emblematic of the increase of pressure of the years of this. Yeah. You could see in every single thing she did, there was something symbolized in the burning of a hand and the sizzling in the ears and the heat in the room and the danger of the fan being representative of year after year after year after year after year. And she finally gets to the place where she says, ah, ah, in a beautiful, beautiful, in the most powerful way, uh, in, in the same way of uh, the simplicity of an action like in Tiananmen Square, that famous shot of the young man standing in front of a tank. That's the, the simplicity of a powerful... You know why we liked his directing so much? Why? He directed Sacred Game season two. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it was, <laughs> it was evident that this short film was in the hands of a brilliant director. Yes. Did he write it too? I don't know if he wrote it. Uh, let's see. Uh, he does write. So he wrote yeah. this. He did he write it. this. But I don't know. Let if, me tell you. I don't know if he wrote and directed. Let me tell you, sir. I hope you're watching this. You are a brilliant artist. Love the work you've done in Sacred Games, and the short film typifies for me. I and, love that and, he doesn't and, tie everything up. And he doesn't tie everything up, and he he gives you gives you reality, and he uses the senses. And he does what a film creator must do. Do We talked about the intelligence of Sacred Games mm -hmm. and how there was no dumbing down to the audience. The assumption was you're smart. Yeah. And that's what you do as you a got, good film you writer. in this too. Gangs of Wasserford. Okay, yeah, so now... Assistant director in Gangs of Wasserford. That's fine. You now with the short film are in the echelons of the best directors, not just out of India, that I've seen. And I want to see more of your work because you evidenced in the short film your understanding of this medium's capacity to change people's hearts by not telling but showing. Mm -hmm. Ex I could go on and on and on about he, how brilliant. I he, want my daughters he, and my son to watch this. He's relatively new too. He did Masan, we've directed to that. He's brilliant. Uh, ugly. Uh, he was a unit director. He's brilliant. Uh, but Man, I want to work with you. Phenomenal job, sir. I hope you see this. We'd love to talk to you. This should have been nominated for an Oscar. If it, Let us know if it was, because he couldn't find me. Oh, hold on. We had, a, we had a seen it. We'd have known about it. Yeah. Uh, do, do, do. National Film Awards in yeah, India, Summer, India, Summer, India, Summer, Summer, India, Summer, India, 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 no. Cannes. It was nominated in no, Cannes. this is Masan. No, right there. 2015, it was nominated for the Golden Camera. This is him, not... Oh, him. Not the film? Not the film. Well, I, I can't find anyway, anything on the, on the nomination, so... That's an Oscar-level short episode, because that was great. And I'm sorry that this was so long. I'm not. <laughs>